On May 21 last year, Malawi went to the polls to elect a president, parliamentarians and councillors. Among the people who came to observe the process in Malawi that year was the European Union Observer Team that was led by Mr. Miloslov Poche. In our exclusive interview today, I have Mr. Poche. Welcome, Mr. Poche. Right. Good morning. Well, since we don't have so much time to, to do this, we go straight to the business of our, yeah. our interview. I, what would you say is the difference uh, that observer missions make in local election, in election management in Africa, given the persistent allegations of rigging that we hear? Um, you know, the European Union does um, more than um, 20 election observation missions around the whole world per year. Um, we have very um, precise uh, methodology and we bring um, knowledge. Uh, we bring recommendations at the end of uh, the whole assessment um, for um, governments, national assemblies, um, uh, election commissions to, 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 to make a more robust electoral process at the end of uh, the observation. Right. Since 1994, the EU has been observing elections in Malawi. Yep. You make the recommendations you talk about at each of the at the end of each of the elections. Uh, how much of your input do you reckon is uh, taken about? For example, from uh, our um, final recommendations on on elections 2014, uh, more than uh, around 60 percent of them were implemented by uh, Malawian government. What do you make of a view on the street that perhaps this is only formality? That's what people think. No, it is not. Uh, it, uh, it needs a uh, huge involvement of the government uh, and passing the bill through the National Assembly. We see a uh, better improvement of uh, voters' registration. Uh, the difference between 2014 and 2019 was uh, very much different. Uh, but of course, there is still uh, space uh, for, um, uh, for improvement. So that's why we are here now, and uh, we have uh, finalized, uh, finalized our, our final report, which we postponed and will be published in February. Mm -hmm. You have obviously been following events and development in Malawi post May elections. Yes. What justified your deciding to come to present your final report at this point in time? Um, it is part of our procedures, our, our framework of our work, that we publish a um, final report within six months um, after the elections. But we already um, once postponed in November our visit because of uh, security situation um, in the country. Um, so we decided to, to come uh, at the beginning of January. Um, but when we discussed after arrival with um, uh, diplomats uh, and head of missions of uh, the European Union member states in the country, we decided to postpone uh, um, publishing of uh, the final report. But the mission is deployed, so we met uh, representatives of political parties, we discussed with them the uh, situation, we met um, um, other uh, stakeholders, and um, uh, but the, the, the final report will be published in February. Obviously, this was an afterthought. You're already here, and then a decision is made. You're not going to take action that you had planned. You know, but it is uh, of key importance that you understand that final report is a technical document. It has nothing to do with interference within the political situation or even uh, judicial process. Um, these recommendations we bring uh, are... Um, for future, uh, for uh, for national assembly, government, how to act and how to improve the electoral process in next period. So it, even if we publish uh, the final report, it uh, would not um, anyhow interfere in the recent political situation in Malawi. But you, you we your, made decision. Your, your view remains that there was nothing that was going to be up. You know, uh, because opposition and politicians uh, sh should know from history, from past, that our final reports are uh, not uh, anyhow acting within political situation. Uh, this are, these documents are really a base for decision making of um, government and uh, MAC um, mm. and other body authorities in the country. But we decided because the situation is uh, not um, calm.
You, you give me the impression your interpretation of the political atmosphere in Malawi is that uh, it's better now than it was three months ago. Because by um, postponing in July, because there was a, a political instability. No, it is not. It's very similar. Uh, people, not just um, political representatives, but also public, await the decision of uh, of the Kurd. Uh, the Kurd postponed his decision uh, for for weeks. So. So it's not much different uh, situation than in November. That's why we decided to, to come uh, and to present, but we, we postponed. Are you disappointed you were not able to do what you came to here to do? Me personally, I am. Uh, but uh, again, uh, the final report can wait a month uh, more because um, this is a long-term document. Um, it should uh, be implemented within the uh, next three or four years. We will be back in Malawi with so-called follow-up mission um, uh, in the midterm uh, to, to check again when the recommendations were implemented or not. Uh, reforms which we recommended uh, if were um, in, in pipeline already. So, um, so uh, I am a bit disappointed, but, but again, uh, in February you will get a final report, I hope. Your, your preliminary report, uh, going through it, I, I, I noticed that you, you never discussed the issue of transmission of results of elections. You never discussed the actual announcements of the results of the uh, tripartite elections. Uh, the, you actually make note of that in the introduction to that, to, to, to that report. Is transmission and announcement of results of elections a focus of the EU observer uh, mission? Of course it is. We observe the whole process from voters registration until the uh, announcement of, uh, of final results. But you know, part of our procedure or methodology is that we publish preliminary report uh, within two or three days after the elections. We couldn't wait um, until the uh, eight days um, uh, uh, period for, for MAC to publish um, official results. So we uh, had a conference already two days after the elections and we um, mainly tackled uh, pre-election period and polling day uh, uh, observations. Does the final report discuss those two aspects? Of the course, of course, but I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we may not go into what what, yeah. what the discussion is. Of course, do you final report that? is complete observation and assessment of the whole election uh, period. That presentation, the final presentation, how far away is it from the preliminary report that you published? Um, final report is really um, very. Is there a departure from the discussion in the preliminary report? Um, no, it is not. But you know, final report is completely different uh, document than a preliminary statement. Uh, final report assesses uh, also uh, and tackles media freedom, uh, women participation, civil society, not just uh, uh, work of Mike or um, of government or government. It's a complete picture of uh, political and election um, landscape of the country. No, right. I, I take it is just an extension of the pre pre preliminary report. No, it is not. It's more comprehensive. Right. Uh, after the presentation of, of the final report, the planned presentation of the final report failed, you went around meeting stakeholders. What were you discussing? Um, at first we, we discussed uh, the political situation, of course, and the reasons why we postponed the final report, because some political representatives were not happy with uh, postponement somewhere, so we had to uh, discuss with them. We met a wide range of, um, of stakeholders, uh, not just political parties, but also ministers and, um, and the others. So uh, we just um, presented our opinion and we of course discussed the situation um, before and after uh, court decision. Some of these stakeholders outright refused to meet you. Do you think they, they lost um, an opportunity? At the end, uh, at the end, when we decided to postpone uh, uh, the, the presentation, uh, we met um, many stakeholders uh, who refused previously to meet us. Okay. Um, Mr. Poche, would, would you tell me this? How often have your final reports in elections as EU contradicted the preliminary reports? Uh, this I can say because uh, uh, Has there been a, a situation where a preliminary report you produced contradicted the final report? 
It should not. I, I don't think so because, uh, you know, our final report was um, fin has been finished by the mid June already, and I have I, I, I would like to mention here that there are rumors uh, within social media and uh, public um, in Malawi that there was a leak or that we wait with, uh, with uh, finalization of final report uh, after uh, the court decision. It, it is not true. Um, the final report. Uh, has been uh, finished uh, from June already, and um, and there are and the final report is not in the country now, so there is no space for leak. Yeah, right. it's, uh, it's very important. But um, you know, and that's that's why I would like to say that prob preliminary report is somehow uh, um, in preface for uh, for final report. It should not be contradictory. It should be contradictory. We we we. We, we agree. Do, do you understand now <coughs> that you're going back, uh, given the, the Malawi political landscape, why stakeholders thought it was ill time to publish the report now? Um, Are you going back convinced with the reasons? Because, because um, many political representatives do not understand what the final report means. Um, the final report is really based on um, um, roadmap for future reforms it has of course it is assessment of uh, of elect pre-election and election day and then after election day procedures of mac and, and government but mainly it tackles the future uh, and this was misunderstood by uh, by many political representatives here and it made uh, 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 this uh, situation all right do you consider this mission accomplished um, it is not. Uh, um, my mission will be accomplished uh, after uh, so-called follow-up mission in two years when we will back again uh, in Malawi to, to see when our recommendations were, uh, were implemented. Right. I thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Poche. Thank you. Is that the correct pronunciation? Yes, that's right. Uh, that was Mr. Miloslav Poche, the uh, chief observer of the electoral observation mission that was in Malawi to observe the May 21 tripartite election. Thank you so much for your time.